In this video, we're going to talk about page parameters and UI Builder. So we will start by creating a new page. Uh, we're just going to call it home and I am going to create it from scratch without using a template. So when I hit create, uh, it's going to prompt me uh, for some advanced URL settings here. That's what we're going to do. So there are two different types of parameters we can add a required parameter and an optional parameter, which are, you know, what they say, one is required, one is optional. Uh, but a required parameter is something that you'll, you have to pass to the page in order for your page to work. Um, these are things, they could be a sys ID, a table, or a query, and required parameters are useful for components because you can bind the value of that required parameter uh, to part of the component. Uh, so let's start with adding a required parameter here and I'm going to call this uh, color. Uh, that'll make sense in a minute. Uh, so let's do that and then we will add an optional parameter as well. And my optional parameter will be, let's call it shape, except spell it correctly. And we'll save that. All right, so we have a color and a shape parameter. I'm gonna hit done. And one of the things you'll notice is that my required parameter got its own spot in the URL or page route uh, up here. And uh, in order to preview this page, I can't click this open button uh, without supplying a parameter here. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're gonna hit blue. And if I close out of that, I can now open the page. Uh, so, of course, nothing will happen uh, because I don't have any content on this page. Uh, but let's do one extra thing in this video uh, in that we will uh, we'll go ahead and take the value of that parameter and bind it uh, to a component. So let's add a quick component. And I think I want stylized text here. Let's do that. So we'll get rid of this and I'm going to click on this little dynamic data binding icon and I have access to a few different things here and uh, one of the things that I have access to is this context.props and you'll notice that both of the parameters that I've added uh, for color and shape are now available here. So if I hit color uh, we can see that color shows up here. Let's save it and open. And we have blue. Let's change that. All right. And uh, red, blue, we get both of them, right? So I've, I've uh, bound uh, the URL parameter uh, to that component value there. We can also take a look at that optional parameter. So let's click on this uh, test values uh, box again and we have blue and let's say for shape we want to add square uh, and so you'll notice that my require parameter has its own spot in the URL uh, so it's always going to be in this place in the URL but my optional parameter is going to go after this params uh, and then we have to know the optional parameter name, which is shape, and then the value is square. Uh, so these are handled a little bit differently in the URL, uh, but let's see if we can map uh, those parameters the same way. So let's add another stylized text, and we'll do the same thing here. And this time we'll set it to the shape. Uh, that looks like it's going to work, so let's save and then test this one. So we can see that both of our parameter values showed up here, blue and square, and uh, blue has its spot in the required parameter place in the URL here, and then the optional parameters show up after this uh, params part of the URL.